Hello and welcome to our house. My name is Andrew. Today we're running a bit of an experiment. I'm eager to see the results myself. I haven't actually tested, in a, tested it in a scientific way. We have all this foliage, uh, which is from a driveway project, which we currently have going at the moment, removing the side fence. And as you can see, there's a huge lump of foliage here and we need to put as much as we can into this organic bin for collection on Tuesday. Now, usually what I've done in the past is I've cut it up a bit prior to putting it in, but I've received a new toy this week, which is my new hedge trimmer. So what I wanted to do, so what I wanted to do was see uncut how much I can get into the bin, and then once we've established a volume of foliage, then empty that out and then run the test with cutting it up and see how much extra space it creates. Now I would, re I would rate a success as being creating one third more space, but we'll see how we go. Now I'm going to time lapse this just of course because it'll be rather boring seeing it in real time. So let's get started. Okay, so we've established how much will fit in there. What I've done is I've removed anything that's too thick, so it's only um, thinner items like this, you know, twines and things like that, that's in here. So what we'll do is we'll empty it and then we'll give it the treatment. Okay, so we're all done, so we'll see how much extra room uh, we've created by doing that. Now, if you don't have electrical or battery powered shears or even two stroke shears, just handheld shears or a, um, a pair of clippers will be fine. I mean, it'll just take much longer, of course. It'll be the difference between whipping cream by hand and using an electric beater to do it. So uh, we'll have a look. Oh, and I'll just say that the part of the trick or to be more efficient, I should say, it's not really a trick, but is to just put smaller amounts in, don't fill it up and then start, uh, you know, cutting it up. Just put in a smaller amount, cut it up and then another small amount. But I'll show you how well we did. I'll just pan down here and as you can see, it's probably a little over 50% that we've used. So we've saved about 48%, let's call it. I won't try and be exact, but that is a huge difference. I mean, if, if, especially if you've got a lot of cuttings that you need to get rid of, saving 48%, so let's call it 50. Um, and you know, you can get twice as much and it'll be the difference between getting rid of a load in one shot um, or having to wait another fortnight to get rid of the rest of it. So it makes a huge difference. So I hope you've found this helpful. Um, if so, please give it uh, the video a thumbs up and if you like gardening and a bit of um, renovating and things like that uh, I also do hardware reviews on certain items uh, please feel free to subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video thank you very much bye